Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we will be talking about how do we customize tooltips in Power BI. So tooltips are an elegant way of providing more contextual information and detail to data points on a visual. So as you can see here, we have a tree map based on category and sales data being demonstrated. And now if we hover our cursor on any one of these uh, data points on the visual, we get to see a small pop-up which indicates a further information related to that specific data point. So as you can see here, I have customized this uh, tooltip information to provide more insights on the data point that I've selected. So therefore, I can see the growth of that particular category over a period of time. So in this way, we are able to make an additional decisive information about this particular data. So how do we customize this tooltip in Power BI? So if I can show you the actual state of how it would display, I can just remove this custom tooltip and then we will go back on how do we create this custom tooltips from the scratch. So for the first, I'll just show you like if I do not, uh, if I just disable this custom tooltip, how would that appear to be? So for that, I would go to the format visual and beneath this uh, general section on the tooltips, I'll just go to the options and in the page category, I would make that to be an auto mode. So once I select that uh, category page type to back to the auto mode, then when I hover the cursor on one of my data points, I can just see the basic tooltip information that has been provided. So there is a small information box which would illustrate about this data that I've selected on this specific visual. So instead of this, the other custom tooltip that I've shown earlier, which would give us some better insights about the data that we've selected on that respective visualization. So how do we make that custom tooltip in Power BI? So in order to do that, we would have to create a separate page and we would need to enable that to act as a tooltip for the main page that we've created. So in this example, what I'm going to do is uh, I've just created a visual based on the region and profit. So what I've done is I've just made use of the stat column chart and then based on the region and the profit, I've created this chart. Now, if I hover my cursor on this tooltip, like on this particular data point, I can just see the basic information being displayed as a tooltip. Now, in order to customize this, I would have to create an additional page where I would have to create the tooltip as a different chart. Okay, so this is a new page that I've created. And before we uh, get into the report uh, development, I'd like to do some custom formatting in order to have this better appealing on the data point. So I would go back to this format on the page, go to this page information, and there first we would need to enable this to act as a tooltip. So therefore, I would have to enable this option so that this particular page would then be considered to act as a tooltip. And then I would give this as region tooltip. Okay, and then let's go to the canvas settings and within this canvas settings we would choose that type as to be a tooltip because we are trying to work on a custom tooltip and then i'd like to align this tooltip uh, chart or that particular visual to be represented in the middle layout so therefore i would change this vertical alignment from top to middle okay now i'll go to the canvas background and adjust this transparency from 100 to 0 so that you get to see this highlighted kind of a visual or the background. Now the basic formatting is complete. Now let's create that additional custom tooltip in order to enable that on the main page. So for that I would try to use the region and the profit split based on my order date 
okay and i will try to choose this line chart now i'll try to adjust this uh, size of this chart to fit to the entire uh, canvas and then i'll come back here and i'll probably remove this region from this and add it on the legend so that i can get to see uh, the data being split based on the region uh, value over a period of time okay so now i'll try to uh, format few additional things so i'll just go back to this format your visual and within this uh, visual uh, formatting i'll go to this x-axis and uh, i do not want to enable this uh, or maybe i will keep it and uh, disable the title since uh, that's not relevant and probably we'll also do the same for the y-axis and we can just go to this title and uh, remove that title and then okay so then everything seems to be fine here and I'll also go to the general and within this title, I'll just disable this title because since this is a, a tooltip information, I do not need this title uh, requirement. So therefore I've turned it off. And then if you see here, so all the settings have been complete for this particular raw tooltip. And then we'll go back to this main page of this visual and what we have to do is so even if i hover my cursor it's still the same state that we've seen earlier so in order to have that custom tooltip being enabled i would have to go back to this format visual and go to this general and uh, within this tooltip now uh, we have this page to be uh, selected from auto to the new one that we've created okay so since the default selection is always made to auto the auto tooltip is always displays us with the basic information about that data point. So now I would have to switch this uh, auto to the region tooltip that we've created. And then once we hover a cursor, we get to see that data being populated according to the data point selection. Okay, so this is how we can customize our tooltips in Power BI. Now there is another option of doing this process. So let's see that uh, second option now instead of having this uh, so i'll go back to this uh, visual uh, formatting and uh, go to this general and within this tool tips i'll just uh, change this uh, category or uh, the page type to back to auto mode and now if i hover it still retains me with the previous state of data point right now in order to have that uh, custom tooltip being shown up uh, we can go back to this uh, tooltip and uh, select the visual so there's this other page and now once we select this page and if you scroll through this uh, uh, visual options at the bottom you see some tooltip and it's asking us to play some field over here so here we would like to uh, filter this by region. So I'll just drag and drop the region field on this tooltip. And now if you go back to that original main page and over your cursor, you get to see that custom tooltip being enabled. So this is the other way around. So we can do in multiple ways. And uh, it's not mandated that we should have this uh, specific dimension that we've used on the main page to be used on the other custom tooltip page as well but even if we remove that the data would still be populated so let's see that as well so here we have broken the data based on region and the year by uh, profit so instead of that i'll just remove this region and uh, change this to um, maybe a line chart okay now if i go back to this main page and if you hover your cursor you can get to still you still get to see that custom tooltip being populated. So which means that no longer whatever dimension that you use on your custom tooltip, the data is still being uh, resonated and reflected on your main page. And it is always being filtered according to your tooltip that you have created over there. Okay, so 
These are the different ways of how you can customize your tooltips in Power BI and bring in some additional value and information being provided to the customer. So I hope you understand and you like this video. And if you do like so, please do like, share and subscribe. And please do not forget to hit the bell icon for any notifications. Thank you.